Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Electrical Forensics. And we have this equipment in front of us to show you what Schumann resonances are. But before we go into looking at this equipment, I need to discuss Schumann resonances with you because Schumann resonances are actually a very important part of electrical forensics and human health. Now, they naturally occur in nature and they are frequencies that range from about 7.8 hertz through to about 60 hertz. And the presence of them make you healthy and the absence of them is known to make people sick. Now, they appear to have gone missing in recent years from the city and suburban environments. And this is in line with human illness and sickness rates increasing. And to find them, you have to go out to the countryside. And they're present out in the countryside, but they're almost undetectable in the city and suburban environment. So what people have started to do is they're, they're buying music soundtracks called Schumann Resonances. And we have an MP3 player here that's currently playing Schumann Resonances through this stereo system. And our volume is turned down right now. But you can see it on the Spectrum Analyzer very low frequency music. So we're going to take a look at that music using this oscilloscope and currently we have no trace because we have no volume on the speakers. This oscilloscope is actually connected in to the speaker connection right now. So we're going to put some volume on there and I think you're going to find it very interesting what we see. So the volume's coming up and what you're looking at right here is peaks and troughs. And those peaks and troughs are the Schumann resonances. We're in the vertical direction, we're on 200 millivolts per division. And in the horizontal direction, we're on 100 milliseconds per division. And you can clearly see that we have a wide range of peaks and troughs in there. And that whole screen represents a second of music. Now, there's a misconception amongst many people out there that you cannot play Schumann resonances through your stereo system. Well, you actually can, because we're looking at it right now, and you can clearly see that there's a 7.8 hertz signal in there, in amongst the music. And that is evidenced by those large peaks interspersed with the very low signal level troughs in between them. So that's the Schumann resonances that we're listening to right now coming through from the MP3 player. So the stereo system very clearly reproduces it. And when we look at the speakers, the speakers are actually an electromagnetic device. So you will be getting the electromagnetic wave coming in to your environment from the speaker. And most speakers can't reproduce the 7.8 hertz of the Schumann resonance, but they can most certainly produce the electromagnetic field that we're looking at right here. So that's a misconception with Schumann resonance music that people buy is that it's impossible for the stereo to produce Schumann resonances because it's outside of the frequency range of the sound that the stereo system can produce. But we're actually interested in Schumann resonances as an electromagnetic wave. And there's definitely an electromagnetic Schumann resonance waveform going out to the speaker, which has a coil in it, which will produce an electromagnetic wave that matches this particular waveform. So you can produce Schumann resonances using a standard stereo system by playing a Schumann Resonance soundtrack through your MP3 player or your CD or tape, whatever format of music that you use. So many people have started doing this and they've noticed that their health improves. And I've actually been experimenting with this soundtrack now for just over a week. And I can say that when I put the soundtrack on, I actually feel healthier. So it actually works for me. So I'm another one of the people who's used Schumann resonances to actually improve their health. And that was the purpose of this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.